Faster Bulls here, class 13. I think we've got an easy winner in this class in 102. He's the best combination, I think, of natural thickness, genetic potential and sire appeal. Looking at him specifically over the bull in second place, I just feel he has that much more spring and dimension to his rib. And the way he gets up and shows himself off is just, uh, he's got real stud potential, that bull. Bull in second place, is a lot of good in this fella here. He's a little bit longer through the body. Um, he again has that lovely natural coat and thickness to him and a good set of EBVs, but just doesn't quite have the sire appeal of the bull above him. It's structure that places our middle pair, uh, specifically strength of spine and the bull that's longer in my, uh, in my second place bull, but particularly he holds that length from hip to pin, which gives him a little bit more balance. I realise that the bull in third place probably has a little bit more sire appeal about him. He's a very attractive looking bull, heavier muscle, particularly over the spine and through the hindquarter, but just didn't quite have the uh, structural correctness through the spine of the bull above him. Um, and tended to be a little bit shorter stepping and that was why I put him into third place. He's a very exciting bull this. I know that he's not he's probably um, got a few little things about him, a little faults like all bulls do, but he's a very exciting bull that I think has a lot of potential, particularly when you look at the, um, at the presence of him, the muscularity of him and his set of numbers. I think he's a really a bull to look at. Uh, specifically, I've gone for him over the fourth place bull because of that muscle, because of that EBV set. I realise that the bull in fourth place probably a little bit straighter and truer along that spine, but he just lacks the power and the capacity of the three bulls above him. Look at him.